What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are rocking out with Colossal in Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Colossal, this Pokemon was actually a huge threat back in the Sword and Shield days due to Dynamax. And now, in Scarlet and Violet, Dynamax is gone, which means this Pokemon is eh. It's eh. It's okay. It's not that good unless you use it right. Hopefully, we're going to be able to use it right today. Pair it up with the Overquill, pop that Steam Engine, use Power Herb, and get this Pokemon rolling. But let's talk about this Colossal build a little bit more. It's Rock and Fire type, meaning it is four times weak to water, which we don't like, which is why we got that Water Terror type. Steam Engine is going to be its ability, which allows this thing to max out its speed stat whenever it gets hit by a Fire or Water move. So again, that Water Terror type going to be coming in clutch, especially with Overquill over here with Aqua Jet to proc that Steam Engine. Colossal's got the Power Herb with Flamethrower, Scald, Meteor Beam, and Protect. Absolutely love this moveset for this Colossal. Again, hopefully going to be using this Pokemon right and grabbing you guys some wins with it. But our restricted Pokemon for today's video is going to be Groudon. Groudon is going to be great because, obviously, it's Groudon. But in all seriousness, this set right here is a pretty standard Swords Dance set for Groudon. This Pokemon can be paired up with Colossal, making it do big time damage with Flamethrower. Now, Overquill going to be another off-meta Pokemon for us with Intimidate and the Cover Cloak, Rock and Aqua Jet, like we already mentioned, and then we got Gunk Shot, Crunch, and Swords Dance, just like Groudon, another Pokemon with Swords Dance. Our final three Pokemon on today's team, Rillaboom, Tornadus, Raccoonid. Raccoonid's a great wide guard user, alongside with being great in the Trick Room. Rillaboom's going to be good for Fake Outs and Terrain Control, and Tornadus, good for Weather Control and Tailwind Support. Guys, want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one showcasing Colossal in Regulation G. Colossal, Colossal, Colossal. How are we going to get after it with this Pokemon? Going up against the Zassian team here in match number one, they got Ogre Pond, Chiyu, Milotic, Dragonite, and Tinkaton. Tinkaton's a cool off meta Pokemon. But Colossal, what are we going to do with you right now? Are we going to lead you? Are we going to bring you in the back end? I'm trying to look at their team. Who do I think they're going to lead? Zacian, definitely a possibility. I could intimidate it with Overquill. And honestly, if I'm going to bring Overquill, I might as well bring Colossal, right? Might as well. I think I'm liking that. I think we're just going to, we're just going to go into Overquill Colossal right off the rip. I just think it's a great play for us. They could go into a fake out user, which would be Tinkaton. And in that case, I got the Pufferfish over here with the Cobra Cloak. Obviously, we want Groudon on today's squad, and then last but not least, do we go Rillaboom, or do we go Araquanid? Or we could go Tornadus, but I kind of like Araquanid or Rillaboom better than Tornadus here. And I'm kind of leaning towards Rillaboom, because why guard, let's be honest, they have like no double hitting moves besides Heat Wave. And I think we should be fine with Rillaboom. I was hoping you would have high horsepower, that would be, be clutch, but again, I still like Rillaboom here. I still like Rillaboom, especially with the grass terrain. It just gives it such a big time damage boost. You just can't go wrong with Rillaboom. So that's what we're going to do. Looking to get after it with Colossal here in match number one. But I was looking at this Colossal stats, and to be honest, its speed stat is so low. It is so low for a good reason. Obviously, like I said, we could boost our speed stat with Steam Engine, but it's not going to be able to outspeed every single Pokemon. So they're going to end up leading these two, and I think this is a good Swords Dance chance for me, right? I think, in all honesty, this is a great Swords Dance chance for me to just Swords Dance over Quill. That's what's so good about the team is because they obviously looking at the Steam Engine problem more so than over Quill setting up. So I could just protect Colossal, and I think I can get him a free Swords Dance here. Because somebody's got to be attacking Colossal. We're kind of hoping you're just doubling down into Colossal. That would be nice. And then at this point, we can have a Swords Dance boosted over Quill instead of just going into the Steam Engine combo. Because after I go for Swords Dance, I definitely don't want to use Aqua Jet into my Colossal. It would just do a little, little bit too much damage for me to, for me to actually go into it. I'd rather just start attacking with Overquill. But Intimidate went out onto the Tinkaton, which is great for us. He's just going to go Helping Hand here. And who are you attacking? You better be attacking the Colossal. You better be attacking the Colossal. Because we're just protecting our bad boy. Protect that guy. We're going for Swords Dance. We do Outspeed Dragon, which is massive. And please go after Colossal. I beg of you. You're gonna go for EQ. Oh. Oh. Oh no. You got EQ with helping hand? Yep. KO my overquill. Alright. I guess that's okay. EQ on a Dragonite? That's just odd. That's just odd. But, I mean, you did that much damage to your, uh. 
you did that much damage to your what's it called so I guess I'm fine with that to your Tinkathon. Um, I could go into Groudon. I do have Fairy Terra, which is pretty good. Hmm. He crashes okay. I mean, I'd rather Sword Dance boost you more so than anything. I mean, Colossal can go for a Meteor Beam here if I want to. Um, Tinkathon's minus one. Now, the question is, are you Choice Banned? Because what I'm thinking of doing here is swapping Colossal in for... Rillaboom, just in case they want to go for another EQ. I think that swap could be nice. And then we go for Swords Dance set up with Groudon. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Let's do that. Let's do that. I could obviously go for Blades if I want to, but I like this the best. And we can reveal if this thing's Choice Band. It could be Choice Band. That EQ did a nice chunk of damage, especially into my Overflow. It wasn't Stab. It was super effective, though. So we're gonna hard swap that Colossal out. We'll save it for later. We'll use it up a little bit later. And we'll bring out the Rillaboom. Helping Hand's gonna fly here again. This is this is starting to seem like a choice band, right? Yeah, this, this seems like a choice band. EQ should get neutralized a good chunk here. And you're just gonna KO your Tinkaton. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Because now I get off a lovely Swords Dance. This thing's choice into EQ at this point. It's gotta be EQ, right? Actually, it might not be. It might not be choice. I feel like you gotta be choice. I'm gonna say your choice. I'm gonna say this thing's choice. But Groudon gets back some nice HP, has Sword Stance now boosted. Um, Rillaboom's sitting here able to fake out this next turn, which is pretty big for us. It is pretty big, so we'll see who they want to go into. They're gonna go into Zacian, and to be honest, I think Zacian just protects you, right? Zacian, Zacian, whatever you want to call it. So I think we just fake out this slot. Like, I know you're inner focused, but. Actually, let's just fake out you. Let's just fake out you. Let's just play it smart here. We'll do that. And do I set up another sword stance? I'm just going to go into Heat Crash into this Dragonite. Might even swap. We set his choice band. Let's be honest. It might. It might. Yep. There it is. Cool. So Heat Crash can do big time damage here. I think he protects Asian more so than anything. And Chiyu is going to take respectable damage to this Heat Crash. Nothing crazy. And he just ends up protecting. Yeah, so this is a bad turn for us. Not a bad turn at all. So I can hard swap into Colossal if I want to. Um, we still have Terror type if we want to send it. He crash should do respectable damage here. That's respectable. Thank you, Groudon. I respect that. <laughs> See you later, Chiyu. To get rid of Chiyu here, um, our big problem here is going to be Zacian right now. Zacian hits hard, and he's resetting his choice. And we might just want to go, like, this is my problem here. This is my big time problem. Like, Groudon has the Fairy Terror type. It has the Fairy Terror type. Oh, man, this is rough. Because you could be going for Behemoth Blade in the Groudon. And I think you're going to go for, like, an Outrage or something. I think I end up just protecting. I think I protect and we get our, we get our Rillaboom Fake Out back. By swapping that out. I think that's in our best interest. Because I think Fake Out could come and clutch so much. Alright. Actually, eh. I don't want to do here. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're just going to swap. We're going to protect here. Because they're looking this thing in the face. Plus, I want to read out what they're doing here, more importantly. The thing is, this Terra could win us the match. It really comes down to, are they doubling down into the same? Because you can go for a Dragon move. You can also go for a seal type move, and doubling down into Colossal would be a big time problem. This Behemoth Blade's looking scary, but out comes the Terra into this thing, looking like you're going for East Speeds now. I mean, I don't mind if you go for East Speeds. That makes me not want to Terrasa on Scrap. Let's see. So they see Ground as a threat, they might even double down into Ground at this point. There's an East Speed in that slot, so he's choice in East Speed. Good to know, good to know. And Behemoth Blade, he's going to double down into that slot. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I'm going to Terrastalize, I think, my boy right here. Actually, I mean, I kind of like your typing. What is Rillaboom's typing? Fire Terra. Fire Terra could come in clutch. We might want to save it for that. But I mean, you're not really doing that much damage. We, we're more worried about this Assassin more so than anything. So I'm just going to go into a Flamethrower here. 
Send it into the Zacian slot, because Sun's still out, correct? Is the Sun still out? Yeah, we got two turns left in the Sun. So we're going to do that, and we're just going to throw our Blades now. We're not going to Terrasize in the Fairy. We're going to save our Terror type. He ends up protecting. That's cool. Protect East Speed. That's fine by me. How much damage are you doing? Let's see. Half. We need Blades to just land to KO this thing. Can we have Blades land? Blades, do me a solid here. Do me a solid. Land this Dragonite. No shot. No shot. I think we lost because of that. I really do. I really do think we, we might have lost because of that. We might have lost because of that. Oh, man. We might have lost because of that. I'm going to actually terrestrialize you now. I'm going to flamethrower this assassin down. Hopefully trying to KO it. But we might have just lost because of that. That Blades is killing this uh, killing this Dragonite all day. That Blades is KOing this Dragonite all day. One E-Speed won't kill us, so he's going to have to double down into us. We're going to terrestrialize this thing. Just in case he wants to go into a uh, a Sacred Sword in this slot. We're terrestrializing it right now. Oh, man. Missing Blades? Really, Groudon? This was our match to win. This was our match to win. E-Speed gonna fire. We should soak up this E-Speed. We do. Sacred Sword going to fly into the slot. Great call on my end. Blades is missing again. Who's dodging this? Kill Zacian. It wouldn't have KO'd, uh, okay, so it wouldn't have KO'd him. Does this KO? That doesn't KO either. Oh, man, that's rough. All right, Harsh Sunlight fades, and you can't KO both, which is great news for us. I think we double down in the Dragonite, more so than anything. And the reason I say we double down in the Dragonite is because I believe he's, oh, this is tough. This is tough, but I'm going, I'm going to end up double down into you. Actually, what does more damage? We could, we can still go for Meteor Beam. I'm gonna send Meteor Beam that way. And I'm just gonna go for Blades. Oh man, that hurts. I think Zassy might even protect here and they might just E speed me down. Nope, he doesn't protect. He's just gonna E speed the ground on down. We're gonna get, look to get rid of this Dragonite. What are you going for here? You're gonna go for a play rough. Do we dodge that? No, we don't dodge that. Any KOs. Dude. Missing blades really hurts his soul. Really hurts his soul. Now I'm stuck here with Rillaboom, and I don't think Rillaboom can finish this one off. His E speed's gonna go before everything. He's gonna be able to do big time damage. That's one, this one just hurts, man. Losing a match like this just hurts. Oh, man. Oh, man. Nothing worse than losing to RNG. Because I thought we played this one really well, too. I thought we played this one super well. Grass Guy will KO, so I'll go into Grass Guy, but we know he's going to get off E Speed. What are you going to do? That's game. That's game, because two E Speeds are going to KO, especially with that Choice Band. Dang, man, I hate losing matches like that. Wow, that E Speed just did a ridiculous amount of damage. Grass Guy going to finish him off. Maybe go for Player Off and he miss, and then I can Grass Guy KO, but Grass Guy just, I don't think it's KO his ass in. I do not. But GG to our opponent, I guess. I guess, right? Man, those matches are annoying. So annoying when you lose to RNG. I just hate Precipice Blades and Origin Pulse. Like, I love seeing the chance of landing a double hit. But, like, the accuracy, I feel like it's a lie. I miss it so much. Moving on to our second match, and I might have to retire Precipice Blades. It's 85 accuracy, but it hits at a 30% rate. If we just landed one of those blades in that last match, either into the Dragonite or to the Zacian, we win that game. We win that game. We just had to go 50% on it, and we went negative 500%. It was embarrassing, so I'm sorry for that. We're 0-1, hopping into our second match, looking to bounce back here, going up against another Zacian team, so cool. Back-to-back -back Zacian teams. Um, I do like Intimidate Overquill. That could be good for us. Um, they do have an Intimidate Pokemon themselves with Gyarados. And honestly, I like this lead right here. I think we can Intimidate. We can always Aqua Jet into Colossal, kind of get going. We're going to bring in our uh, our Groudon. I am scared of Defiant. Hmm, I am scared of that Defiant Annihilate. But I think we could be good with Tornados in the back end. I like that. Do we think they're going to lead Annihilate? Hopefully not. I think they leak Grimmsnarl and maybe like Gyarados or Grimmsnarl and... Udra, which could be scary, but I think we can figure out ways around this. I think we can win this match. Scary team for sure. 
I think Rimsnarl comes here. I think they bring Sassian. I think they bring Rillaboom, and I think they bring Gyarados. I would, that's what I actually hope, but to be honest, if Annihilate comes out here for the lead, we might just have to get off for today and wrap this one up. So fingers crossed, no Annihilate. Not allowed. It's not allowed here. We do not want Annihilate. And every time I say that, it happens, so go ahead, bring out Annihilate. Gyarados Grimstrong. Cool. Okay, so they're going to intimidate intimidate us. No big deal here. I mean, you can set up a screen. I think our best interest here is to just go Aqua Jet into Colossal and Meteor Beam this Gyarados. For stab, super effective damage, and a plus one special attack boost. Should we do like... Lots of special attacking, which they don't know. A lot of them usually rock physical attacking sets, but this one is the specialist of attackers. All right, I was checking out stats. Hey, look at that special attack. 132. 132. All right, so let's do it. Let's go straight into Meteor Beam here. Actually, we got a Terra Meteor Beam. Can't forget about the Terrasalizing here. Terra Meteor Beam, and we will just Aqua Jet this Colossal. Just to get that speed increase here. He ends up with John Garrus. Why are you doing that? Who are you going into? He got here. I'm gonna go into Guja. Oh man. This sucks. I'm gonna do negative six damage to this thing. And I wasted Terra. It's just ugly. I should have Swords Dance. Swords Dance would have been a great play. Swords Dance would have been lovely. It would have been great. So we end up going into that water terra. Not too shabby here. Surprised he didn't just attack me. Not gonna gonna fly here. So I do a great amount of damage to my colossal. Only eight. We love that. And Steam Engine is popping. It's weird, because are you not going for screens? Oh, Aqua Jet just goes before screens. I mean, it makes sense. They're both plus one priority. And Meteor Beam going to fly here. So, they get off their light screen. I might swap my Overquill, save Intimidate for later. And now might be a good turn to bring out our... Our Groudon. How much damage are you doing, Meteor Beam? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Could go for Scald, look for Burn. Could go for Flamethrower. Which isn't too bad. And I think we do go for Flamethrower. And on top of that, we swap into Groudon. I know Light Screen's up, but Gudra really just don't want to bulk it up. I'm going to go into Groudon here. This makes me think you're going for Spirit Break into my Colossal, which I don't want happening. But with swapping Groudon, we will get that Sun Boost onto Flamethrower. Then we get that Stab. We get Sun Boost. We got a plus one special attack boost. They got Light Screen. Hopefully, we can still do some damage. He goes for a Thunder Wave, which won't affect Groudon. Oh, no. We dodge it with Colossal. Cool. So, Colossal gets a little bit of RNG luck there. Flamethrower doing some nice damage. Any burns? No burns. Body Press going to do minimal damage. Cool. So, I think from here, honestly, I think I just want to protect you. And just go into a Sword Stance, because this might be a solid turn for them to actually swap back into Gyarados here. Yep. Mm hmm And I'm clear amulet, so this could be a free sword dance kind of play. This could be a free sword dance kind of play. Plus, I think you're going for spirit break or Thunder Wave back at the Colossal, right? This could be a solid play for us. This could be good. This could be real good. Yep, there's a Thunder Wave into Colossal. We love that! And I get off a free sword dance this turn. Free sword dance. Got some sun going. Alright, so Light Screen's still here. Um, they gotta be setting up a Reflect this turn. It's just a must. And from here, I'm just gonna start chipping away at this, uh, at you right here. Actually, I might just double down. I'm gonna double down to Grimmsnarl. Or I could start charging Meteor Beam, but then that, that would be easy to read. That would be really easy to read. So they go into Reflect, we're gonna double down to this Grimmsnarl. Um, what could you be going for, Gyarados? You going for the Thunder Wave? You're taunting me? What are you doing here? I'm kind of scared of you. We do get a burn on Grimstrow. Nice little big burn. He's going to taunt me. That's fine. That's fine. I pretty much know what this Gyarados is running. Waterfall, Taunt, Thunder Wave, and... I couldn't tell you its last move. But those are the th main three. We got a crit there. I think we were KO'd regardless with that Sword Stance. And I like where we're sitting. Making some great swaps. Great plays. We still have Overcool. So if I want to intimidate by swapping somebody, we can't easily... Depends who they go into. If they go into a physical attacker, yes, I don't mind just sending this. Especially if it's Zassian here. It's gonna be a Nile Leap. Okay, so we can't do that. So a Nile Leap comes out here. That's fine. We might want to double down into a Nile Leap here. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna double down into a Nile Leap. 
with Heat Crash. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Because you could swap Gyarados here. And I have to get rid of Annihilate because I know Zacian's their final Pokemon. Mm, you protect it. I was going to say, I know Zacian's their final Pokemon. And we're going to want to intimidate that without the Fiant boost in here. Right? We're going to want to do that. And Thunder Wave's going to fly here, which I'm dodging. Okay, so RNG helping us out a little bit here. He crashed getting blocked. So now he knows what we're going for. The question is, do we do that again? Because a lot of Annihilates do rock Water Terror. So honest, or if not Water Terror, Fire Terror. So honestly, we're just going to go for Scald, and I'm going to go for Blades here. I'm going to say Blades has a nice chance of landing here. Especially because you might swap Gyarados. Let's go into Blades here. I know Blades have been did me dirty in the last match, but I got faith in it. Seems like RNG's helped me out a little bit here with Thunder Waves. So there's the Terra's. Terra's gonna get boosted here. Um, we're hoping this is actually fire. And it is. That's a great call on RN. Switch to Scald and Blades. A great call on Jeans. Great call, Jeans. Great call. Scald's now gonna fly. I mean, Scald in the sun, how much damage are you really doing? Not bad. It's better than what Flamethrower would have done. And Thunder Wave now flies. So as long as this Blades lands, we pretty much set, a, set ourselves up for victory. If Blades lands, we set ourselves up for victory. Blades, can you please land? Do me, do me, do me a solid here. Do me a solid here. I know it doesn't affect Gyarados, but you just gotta land to... Thank you. You just gotta land to Annihilate. That KO is beautiful. That's huge. That's huge. So now Zacian's definitely gonna be that last Pokemon. Gyarados on the field. We can swap Colossal, intimidate them early on here, and just try to tackle onto this... Uh, Try to tackle this uh, Zacian on. Honestly, my Protect Grout on this turn. It's gonna be. Oh, wow, wait. I totally forgot about Gudra. They didn't even bring Zacian. How don't you bring Zacian? I totally forgot about Gudra. I should have. I was talking about Zacian the whole match. How does that. How does that happen? Don't want to intimidate here? Kinda. I kinda like Overcool here as well. I think Intimidate is going to be good, especially because they probably want to go into... Hmm. Actually, might not want to. I think I just want to attack. Yeah, I'm just going to attack here. I like our special attack boost. He's going for Waterfall. Intimidate would have been nice, but Groudon's bulky enough to soak up. So, Blades, Fly, can you land on Gudra? Thank you. So RNG helping us out. I can't believe they didn't bring Zacian. I was sitting there. I knew they had Gujra the whole game. And I was thinking they have Zacian. So that's a little blunder play on my end. But hey, we're still going to be able to pick up the win here. Flamethrower is going to fly. I'm going to swap my Groudon next turn and start charging Meteor Beam. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So Meteor Beam, charge it up. And we'll swap into Overquill. Get a sweeping match number two. So cool. We should be 2-0, but we're going to be 1-1. One considering last match. RNG did me dirty, but RNG kind of helped us out in this match. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. They missed a few Thunderwaves, but I don't think that was really making a difference there. They're going to stay in here. They're not going to cancel the match. We're going to go into Overquill. Going to intimidate up a little bit and start charging this beam of meteors. But yeah, we played this one so well, I thought. Swapping in and out at the perfect time, setting up Sword Dance with Groudon, reading a swap into Gyarados from Gudra. It just worked out so perfectly for us. And Colossal worked wonders this match. Steam Engine popping, doing some big time damage with Meteor Beam, Flamethrower getting after it. We love this. We love it so much. Ice Cream wears off too. I totally forget. I forget about the screens too all the time. But we're going to a crunch here. We got Meteor Beam flowing, and you could just protect here. Nope, they cancel match. So GG's to our opponent here in match number two. Final match coming at you guys. We're sitting one and one. Would love to grab ourselves a winning record here. Going up against a Trick Room team. And to be honest, this team kind of thrives in the Trick Room. So I don't mind it. Like Colossal Speed, super low. 38. Raquinage should be in like 50, 60, correct? 57. <laughs> and Overcool is pretty slow too. So honestly, I don't understand why this team doesn't have Trick Room on it. But it works. Actually, Overquill's a bit speedier. 116. I like that. I like that with you, Overquill. Okay. But who should we lead here? How should we get after it? Instruct Oranguru is looking pretty scary. I don't mind this lead right here of Colossal. But I can Meteor Beam and set up. I could honestly just go into the sun as well. That's not bad. A little bit of sun action right off the rip. I think I like that. But I think Follow Me Trick Room comes out here more than anything. So I might just want to Sword Dance up. I like this lead right here. I like this lead. Um, 
In the back end, a Raccoon is going to be great. And last but not least, do we go Overquill or Rillaboom? I think Rillaboom could be nice. Especially up against Ursaluna and Urshfu. Just a big old Grassy Glide. Come on, man. Grassy Glide wins a lot of battles. Especially on this channel. And Grassy Glide single-handedly has clutched up hundreds of times. Since the Sword and Shield days. It is just phenomenal. It really is. But I remember when Rillaboom didn't have Grassy Turn. Grassy Surge, Grass Surge, its ability. And it was, eh. And then they gave it that ability. I was like, dang, yo, this Pokemon's the real deal. That 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 ability buff made this Pokemon what it is today. Which I love. I love Rillaboom and how strong it is. Well, they're going to end up leading Orangaroo and Mousehold. So this is obviously just going to be a follow me play, which I don't mind at all. And I'm just going to Meteor Beam into that. And I'm going to go for a Sword Saint setup here. Might as well boost our stats as to go for follow me Trick Room. Might as well. Okay, that's cool. Now, something I am a little scared of here would be Instruct Pop Bomb, right? That doesn't sound nice. And that could be a thing. That could be a thing. So, what I might honestly do here is just protect Groudon next turn and just get rid of Mouse Hold. Because that, that that Pokemon is what scares me the most, right? Mouse Hold scares me a lot. And never mind, we don't have to protect them. We could just KO Mouse Hold like that. Cool. Mouse Hold, bye-bye. Pop Bomb's just so scary. Because I remember it back in, like, Season 1, like, the first format of Sword and Shield. It was just, like, Mousehold using Pop Bomb was insanely strong. It would just KO. Someone figured out it could do that, and we were just like, dude, you just put the wide lens on this bad boy. Pop normal terror and just start ripping. And it worked perfectly. But then, now they're going to throw out Ursaluna, and I think from here, mm, Scald is really not going to do too much damage. Flamethrower is going to be our play. And you can instruct Hyper Voice here. Which I don't think you do. I think you go for more of a ground move, which is why I went to Rasslize. I'm just going to go into Blades. Let's see what you do. I'm going to Blood Moon. I probably should have protected Ground on this turn. Honestly, I probably should have protected Ground on. Blood Moon could totally fly here. Could totally fly. But I ended up Terrasalizing you, just in case Earth Power wants to fly here as well. Let's see what you got cooking here. Flamethrower is going to actually outspeed. You're slow, Colossal. We love you, and that damage is... Beautiful, and there's the Earth Power. So good Terra on Aran. Great Terra. Are you instructing here? You're gonna encore me. Oh man, you know, why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do that? Not cool. Not cool at all. So now you're just gonna let me Sword Stance boost. Is is is, is that what you want? Is that is that what you want me to do? Honestly, be out speed. I'm gonna go for another flamethrower. Do I swap you into like Billaboom? That's not bad. Yeah, we might as well swap. The Swords Dance shit was over. He's just gonna keep me in the Encore. We might as well swap here. We can have Fake Out next turn. And really start getting after it. But this Colossal being this slow, massive. That's massive up against a Trick Room team like this. Man, dude, my, my, they're, they're lucky. They are lucky. My Groudon was ready to roll. He was ready to steamroll this game. More than ready. So I wonder what they do here. Do they go follow me? No, they're, no, they're going to withdraw Ursaluna. They withdraw Ursaluna, and who's their final poke? Torkoal? Maybe Urshifu. Now, that's Dark Urshifu. Now, Dark is still going to take some nice damage to this, to this flamethrower. And I got Rillaboom out here, who I can just go into Grassy Guard. Lovely little Grassy Guard. Then we got Rillaboom here. And flamethrower chunking up damage. A lot of damage. That's Sash up. You lucky. You lucky. Give me a burn. This little burn would've been dope. It's like it's gonna fly into you. Who you should soak, right? The chances are he does detect. I mean, I'm still gonna go for a flamethrower into a Rangaru. And instead of going for a fake out, I'm gonna go in the grassy guy because I don't want him encore me in a fake out. Fake out would have been nice because if they go for sucker punch. It would have been fine, but this actually works fine for me. Glossal's doing big time damage and chunked up a lot. He chunked up a lot of damage. And on top of that, Rillaboom's got first turn priority on the field. Trick Room's wasting out here. And we're looking so good here. So Flamethrower, gonna chip up some damage on the Rangaroo. Give me a burn. No burns today. And Psychic kind of finish you off, or do you soak? My dog Colossal just eating up. Just eating up. All day long. So he can't even swap into Earth Luna. This match is pretty much set. We're gonna go to another flamethrower, send it on the grassy god. I think they just canceled the match, right? They know they're in a terrible position. 
The only way they win is if their Urshifu is slower than my Rillaboom, right? And you can Sucker Punch, but it's not. Yeah, it's just not. So we get rid of Urshifu here. He's going to take out Colossal. Colossal's going to deal some damage on the Ranguru. Unless you get a crit, Colossal. I wouldn't mind a big-time crit flying through for me here. Keep you alive. Oh, my lord. You asked, and you you shall receive. Colossal knew his life was on the line there. He was like, I'm not dying. He's like, this guy's dying before me. And he just did it. He just did it. The Trick Room's gone. We would have won this match regardless of that crit, so I don't want to hear the RNG helping me out. Because RNG did me dirty in match number one. Let's remember that. Let's remember that. But again, we were winning this one. Again, no problem. And from here, I can just grasp you guys. Finish off this match. A nice, lovely 2-1 winning record. Taking out the Service Luna. It feels good to be back in the win column with a winning record. Considering our past two videos, we went one and two and grabbed ourselves a losing record. So to use this off-meta Colossal team and to grab ourselves a winning record, feels good. It feels good. But Colossal was awesome today. Popping Steam Engine with Overquill, doing big time damage next to Groudon after sending a Meteor Beam. I just couldn't have asked for more with this Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.